Alright, so this is a video for how to set up APA headers for APA essays. Uh, it's one of the more difficult headers to set up, and that's simply because Word doesn't have a default for it. Um, and it's not simple by any means. It's not simply a page number. Uh, the best way to go about doing this, I find, is just to come up here in the top inch of the document, double click, and that'll open up your header and footer tools here. Very first thing you need to do, come up here to this options uh, section here and click different first page. So if you were to click that after formatting this, it would change, it would revert it all back to just a blank header and you would have put in all that work for nothing. So what I like to do is come over to the header and footer menu over here, click header, and just go to the blank three column one. Uh, the reason I choose this one is it's very simple for setting this up. Um, and there's there's a couple different ways you can go about this. Basically it gives you three columns here. Um, I like to click in the first one and hit delete three times. And what that's going to do is bring that center column over to the left. I do that rather than deleting the center one because if you were to type in your first column and it goes just past this three inch mark here in the document, it'll push this right column down a line and that's not proper APA format. So this way it just uh, gets rid of that problem before it even comes up. Um, and the first thing you need to do, come over to this left column type running head just like that capital R the rest all lowercase followed by a colon a space and then whatever the the title of your essay is uh, you need to type a short version of it so hit caps lock this is going to be in all caps and type short version just a short version of your title so if your title of your essay is researching the subatomic blah 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 and whatever you would just shorten that down to researching sh subatomic blah or something like that you know you get what I'm saying so after you've done that come over to this right column here click in it and then what we're gonna do is add in a page number so you click page number go down to current position because we're just gonna enter it right where the cursor was in the in the document right in that right column and then just do a plain number. It's that simple. Now, double click down here in the body to get back into the document. And say you're typing along and typing along. Anyways, and you get down to your second page and you notice you don't have a header anymore. Well, that's because we clicked different first page. So for the pages from here on out, you need to click in that header once again, double click. We're going to do the same thing, go up to header, enter this blank three column header, and click in the left column, once again delete three times, and then here you just take from the first page up there, you take that short version of the title you can retype it but just to avoid any inaccuracies sometimes it's better to copy it and then just come down here to that left column Ooh. if it decides to cooperate there we go and just paste it in there and then over here once again page number current position not top of page and click plain number and you can see it continued the numbering from the first section double click to get out of the header and there you have it You've got your proper APA headers thank you for watching